Hi guys, it's me, Teacher Don. In after this video, ang pag-uusapan naman natin is kung paano bahan natin ang slope of a line given two points. And I hope na matutunan nyo yung process on how to use the formula of slope in finding the value of slope. Again, without further ado, let's do this topic. Right after ng ating discussion about the definition of slope at yung paghanap ng slope gamit ang rise over run, as well as the different types of slope, ang next topic natin ngayon is kung paano ba hanapin ang slope given ang two points or given ang coordinates ng two points. So we have here the formula. Slope m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So let me show you examples na pwede natin i-apply yung ating formula. We have here determine the slope of the line given two points. I have here three examples na pwede natin gamitin para ma-practice natin yung ating formula. Then right after this, I will give you an activity wherein you need to do or you need to practice kung ano'y natutunan yung sa ating tutorial video. So again, without further ado, let's discuss this topic. So basically, all you need to do is to memorize first the formula. Your slope m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So mga sudyante ko, ang ginagawa ko rito, tinuturo ko sa nila, before nila gamitin yung formula, lagyan muna nila ng label yung bawat coordinate ng points. So let's say for example, focus tayo sa number 1. In number 1, we have negative 2 comma 4 as the coordinates of the first point. And then we have 1, 6 para sa coordinates naman na second point natin. Since yung negative 2, 4 natin is the first point, yung label na ito ay ito yung x sub 1, ito ngayon yung y sub 1 mo. The next one is yung coordinates naman na second point natin. Therefore, ito ngayon yung makakuha ng x sub 2 and y sub 2. Lahat ng numbers dito are your x sub 1. Yung mga nandito naman, lahat sila ay y sub 1. Ito mga nandito ay x sub 2. At lahat na nandito ay y sub 2. So, kapag meron na kayong label, ready na kayong gamitin yung formula. So, let's have the solution for number 1. For number 1, you have the formula m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So as you can see, you have negative 2, comma 4, copy na natin. You have 1 and 6. This is your x sub 1, y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. Lahat ng value ng variable na yan, ipapalit natin sa ating formula. So you have m is equal to your y sub 2 is 6 minus your y sub 1, which is 4, lagay mo minus 4, over your x sub 2, which is 1, here. So you have 1 minus your x sub 2, which is... Or your x sub 1, which is negative 2. So pag negative yan, i-enclose mo sa parenthesis. So minus negative 2. Then you need to simplify the numbers in your numerator and denominator. And this will be m is equal to 2 over yung 1 natin na i-multiply natin yung sign negative times negative is positive so you have plus 2 and simplifying that fraction your m is equal to 2 over 3 and remember when you're dealing with a fraction kailangan mo i-check kung kaya pa bang i-simplify or i-lowest term ang fraction na meron ka so, for this case, wala ng greatest common factor and 2 over 3. Therefore, the slope or the value of slope in number 1 is 2 over 3. That's it. So, let's move on with item number 2. Again, isulat natin yung formula para matandaan nyo. M is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus 
x sub 1. Copying the coordinates of those points, you have negative 3, negative 1, tapos yung second point natin is 6 and negative 6. x sub 1, y sub 1. x sub 2, this is your y sub 2. Okay? Then we will use the formula m is equal to your y sub 2, which is negative 6, negative 6, tapos minus your y sub 1, which is negative 1. So pag negative, don't forget eh. You need to enclose it by parenthesis, negative 1. Over your x sub 2, which is 6, minus your x sub 1, which is negative 3. So enclose it by parenthesis. Yan. Simplify natin yung sign muna. So you have negative 6. And then ito, negative times negative, it will become plus 1. Over. Pinapakita natin step by step process para na, para ma-master ng mga bata na kung paano ba mag-manipulate or mag-simplify ng mga numbers or operations. For the denominator, copy natin yung 6 because we need to simplify this negative times negative. That will become positive. So plus 3. And simplifying your fraction, negative 6 plus 1 is negative 5 over your denominator, which is 6 plus 3, that is 9. So dito, ito ah, ang advice ko lang sa inyo, isimplify nyo pa rin to. Instead of negative 5 over 9, you can write it as negative 5 over 9. Dapat na sa center yung sign. Okay? So last one, we have number 3. Again, isulat ulit natin yung formula natin. Para mas ma-memorize nyo, m is equal to y sub 2 minus y sub 1 over x sub 2 minus x sub 1. So you have here m, oh sorry, copy muna natin yung given coordinates natin. We have 4, negative 4, tapos negative 5 times 3. This is your x sub 1 y sub 1, x sub 2, y sub 2. So, substitute natin yung values para sa ating formula. m is equal to 3 minus negative 4 over negative 5 minus 4. Simplify natin yung signs sa numerator. m is equal to 3 plus 4 over your negative 5 minus 4, that is negative 9. And simplifying your answer, the slope for number 3 is negative 7 over 9. This is the correct answer for item number 3. Now, I hope na in this three given examples, and a master nyo na or nalaman nyo na kung paano ba maghanap ng slope given lamang ang two points or ang coordinates ng dalawang points. So, I have here an activity for you wherein you can apply kung ano yung natutunan nyo sa ating tutorial video. So, I hope na masagutan nyo ito sa inyong scratch paper and then sana may comment nyo sa ating comment section kung ano yung value ng slope given these two examples. Again, kung bago ka lang sa YouTube channel ko, don't forget to like, and subscribe at i-hit mo na rin yung bell button para updated ka sa ating mga future uploads. Again, I am Teacher Gon. Maraming maraming salamat. Bye-bye! Hi guys, you can also like and follow our Facebook page which is named as Math Teacher Gon. We're uploading this for our followers on Facebook so I hope na ma-follow nyo rin at makita o kaya ma-visit ang ating page. So right now, uh, we have we have 14,000 followers and likers of this page and I hope na makasama namin kayo sa page na to. God bless.